And once I'm done with my eyes, I go in with my... my <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I know, I am aware that my bare face could probably make a little baby cry. But today I wanted to film my everyday makeup routine. This is the makeup that I usually wear every single day when I go to work or if I'm going to the store really quickly, maybe not because when I go to the store I pretty much go like this, so hey, here it is. It usually takes me about 15 to 20 minutes to get ready using all of these products. All of these products are things I use every single day. I probably need to update it, update it. I probably need to update it really soon because some of these products have been with me or I've been using these products for at least about a year, two years now and girl needs new products. But for now, I just wanted to show you and hope you guys find this interesting. Remember, this is the second week of the month, so the video for this week will be anything makeup or beauty related. So if you guys wanna see how I get my face ready, keep on watching. The first thing that I do to my face is moisturize my face. Uh, my face is really oily. I mean, you can already kind of start seeing the oils right here, you know? just doing their own thing but in the mornings I wake up with a really 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 dry skin so in order to combat that I want I like to put like some moisturizer so I like to use this one right here it is the L'Oreal Hydra Total 5 hydrating anti wrinkle cream so I like to put this on my face right before I put on all my makeup just to add that extra moisture that my face my face needs in the morning so now that I put my moisturizer I tend to go in with my Carmex Classic Lip Balm just to make sure that my lips are moisturized throughout the whole makeup process. Once I have that on, I am ready to move on with my uh, complete routine. So to start off, I like to use this primer. It is the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. At first I didn't really like this eraser, this eraser. At, at first I didn't really like this primer because I felt like it didn't do much for me. But I've noticed that after using it for a while, it actually does a great job at erasing the pores around my, o my nose area. So I really like it for that. I don't like to go overboard because it is kind of like oily in a way. So it, since my skin is already oily, it kind of makes my makeup slip a little bit. So I make sure to use very little of this. But if you guys have any suggestions for... Uh, a primer for oily skin please let leave it in the comments down below because homegirl needs a new primer honestly once I'm done with that I go in with my foundation and the foundation that I use is the infallible pro matte demi matte finish in the color 108 caramel beige and this is a L'Oreal Paris foundation it is one of the greatest foundations for oily skin um, it lasts me at least five hours before I start seeing my oils peek through and before it starts doing a whole mess down here. But it's a really good foundation. I really like it. I'm looking for a new foundation and I'm, I, I'm really tempted to try the Fenty foundation, especially because it is made for oily skin. So I'm kind of curious to try that one. But for now, this is the foundation that I use. And yeah, so I put a little bit I'm gonna put my sleeve up because I'm gonna get it dirty. I put a little bit on my, on the back of my hand. And then I just dot it all over my face. It's a little bit dark for me, especially during the winter time. But once I put concealer and everything like that, it kind of fixes it, so I'm okay with it. So I use my little beauty blender. It's not a beauty blender, it's the Real Techniques blender. So I like to use this and I'm just a little wet and I just use this to blend out my makeup. I 
All right, now that that's done, the next thing I do is go in with my concealer. It is the Fit Me Concealer in 25 Medium. I like this concealer. I like to put it right under my, what's it called? What is this, my under eye area. So I just put it there, put it a little bit on the bridge of my nose, up here. In the mornings, I'm not at all precise, so I only have about 15 minutes to get ready to put my makeup on because I decide to snooze my alarm about three times and then still sleep in 10 more minutes, so. Wow. Once I have that blended, I go in with my, where is it? I go in with my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 230 Natural Buff. As you guys can tell, I am hitting pan on this again. This is like the third powder I've bought in in the like last six, seven months. I love this powder. This is the greatest powder I have found. I am actually really intrigued to try their, min not their mineral powder, their loose powder in the same brand. I'm really excited. I think I'm going to go try that out. But for now, I like to use this to set my under eyes and some of the concealer as well as the foundation. And I use this as well as my e.l.f. powder brush. Alright, once I'm done with that, today, something weird. Usually I do my eyebrows last, but today I actually decided to do them first. And it worked out a lot better. So today I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So to do my eyebrows, I know I have no eyebrows. I need eyebrows. So I like to go in with my e.l.f. Duo Powder in dark. And it has the powder as well as the gel. Is that what it's called? Yeah, the, the brow gel. And I take this angled brush from Wet n Wild, it was a dollar. It's not the best brush that is out there on the market, but it's the brush that I've got and it's the brush that I'm using. Once I'm done lining my brows and filling them in, I like to go back with the spoolie brush and just brush them out one more time. And it kind of like makes them, I don't even know, but I just do it because I see it on YouTube. <laughs> Can you tell I could not be a beauty girl? Can you tell? Anyway, once I'm done with my brows, I like to go in and contour my face. I have been using this Wet n Wild contouring palette in Dulce de Leche. I like to use this to contour my face. I make the little fishy. Hey, it's a pretty color. I like it. I like it. The only bad thing about this is it has a lot of kickback. Look at that face coming back to life. And then up on my forehead, like Shay says, once your forehead is bronzed, we are ready to take on life. And then when I'm really lazy, because you know, I don't do eyeshadow for my everyday makeup, so sometimes what I like to do is take some of that excess um, contouring powder that's on my brush, and I like to put it on the crease of my eyes to kind of just add some dimension without having to literally spend ages on eyeshadow because eyeshadow is what makes me take a lot longer with my makeup so just put that some there make sure it's all blended and if I think it's too harsh I just go back with my powder brush and just kind of loosen it up a little bit 
All right. I am coming back to life. So once I'm done with that, I like to use my Wet n Wild Color Icon blushes, and I have two blushes. One is in pearlescent pink, the other one's in mellow wine. It honestly depends, but I think I'm digging this one right now. So I'm gonna use the one in pearlescent pink, and I like to use my blush brush. Bought it in Walmart years ago, so I don't even know what brush this is anymore. But I just like to put this right here just to add some of that color and dimension back into my face because homegirl is matte. Like this foundation is super matte and then the powder is e makes it just even more matte so homegirl needs some color because her face is flat. After that, once I'm done with that, it is time for highlight. And I have two highlights here. They're both the same. They're, they're both from the same brand. They are the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. And I have one in Precious Petals and the other one in Crown of My Canopy. Right now, I, I feel like I should probably go with the Crown of My Canopy because I feel like I'm a little bit white in this lighting. So I think I'm going to go with the pink one. I like to put them. Ooh, I don't know. Can you tell? Uh, can you tell? Like, look at that. And if I want to, you know, boost up my highlight, I can use a ColourPop highlight. But for my everyday makeup, I don't have time to put two products at the exact same time. So I always go with this one. And honestly, it does a great job on its own. Like, I can't. Let's all just give a round of applause for this highlight. We're almost done guys, we are almost there. Look how fast that was. After that, once I'm done with that, what do I do? So once I am done with that, I go in and I line my eyes and I use the gel liner, the Maybelline Eyeline Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black. And before I, knew, before I start, I know I tug on my eyelid a little bit. I'm sorry, but that's what I do. If I, if I don't do that, I can't line my eyes to save my life, so. Fair warning. <laughs> Once I'm done with my eyes, I go in with my mascara, and the mascara that I use, it is the, ooh, there you go. The L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara in Blackest Black. This is my Holy Grail Mascara. I love it. I actually bought the Lash Paradise Mascara, the one that has been super hyped. However, I bought the waterproof version, and I honestly think that the waterproof kind of makes it clumpier. I do not like clumpy mascara. That's my pet peeve. So. I mean, I like it. I like how voluminous it makes my lashes to a certain point because once it starts getting really clumpy, I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna go in with my Holy Grail mascara. And honestly, if you ever just need a simple mascara that does the job, this one is it. As I did my lashes, I realized that I'm <laughs> running out of this mascara, so I need to go to the store really quickly. I need to go buy more. All right, so we are almost there. We are almost done. Honestly, this usually just takes me 15 minutes because it's just super simple. I mean, honestly, I could go a lot bigger and I've, I literally, I can do a lot more if I wanted to, like actual eyeshadow, but I don't got time, so yeah. So to finish off this look, I like to put on a lipstick of some kind. Usually it's liquid lipstick that dries down matte just because, you know, I need some color on my lips. Sometimes I like to go, ooh, there was a cat in the, my backyard. Sometimes I like to go just neutral, bare lips. I just put on like some of my Carmix on and just go like that to work. Either that or I'm really running late and I don't have time. But when I do, when I have those extra two minutes of time, uh, I like to put Take a Pixie. It's this beautiful color by ColourPop. Let me see. Uh, Wow, the name already came off. 
Yep, it did. It used to be there. But it's my ColourPop Take a Pixie color. It is a be it is a beautiful color. I love it. And it's a very good color for a day-to-day -day look. So I'm going to lock my lips. And that is it, guys. That is it for my everyday makeup routine. So if you guys enjoyed this makeup routine, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below any new products that you would like me to try for me to incorporate in my everyday makeup routine because honestly, I am ready to try something new. If there's any new makeup product that you guys have seen out on the stores and you would like for me to include it on here, please let me know down in the comment section. And if you guys haven't done so already, please subscribe down below and also click that notification bell so that you guys are notified of when I upload my videos. All right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.